Welcome back. It is 521, almost 522. Take down the letters. That is going to be the next production over at Cite des Arts starting on September the 14th. Uh, Christy Lechte and Sue Schleifer are here. Uh, you're the director of this. You said it's a small, it's a small crew. It's a small have. cast. We have uh, three persons, three women in the cast. So okay. it's an all woman show, which is kind of unusual and really fun. And Sue, this is you, you're you're a book writer. You, you put out newsletters. This is your this is your first actual play, um, but this is kind of based on something that's a little close to home for you. It's about letters, right? It is about letters. It's about letters that I wrote to a boyfriend when I was between the ages of 18 and 28, and um, I got them back in a kind of interesting and mysterious way, and if you come to the play, you'll find out about it. <laughs> now, this is, well, this is about, the, the play is about a woman whose husband passes away at a young age, and she has to go through the grieving process, and one of those is having to go through his personal things, correct? Yes, she finds a box of letters on a shelf in his closet when she's finally ready to clean out his closet. And it takes her on quite a journey. Mm -hmm. And she brings along her mother and they meet a young woman along the way. So that's gonna be it's really, and he said it's a very small crew, but you were also, we were talking about how Acadiana seems to be a really big hot spot for great local talent. I mean, I know that both of you came from somewhere else, but but you've been here long enough. You're local, but but you're bringing in the local talent and continuing to keep things right here. Absolutely, that's what's so beautiful about this area, and it's frankly one of the reasons why I moved. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's the music. You musicians, you know, are everywhere and they're amazing, and we love to go see them. But I think what some people don't realize is that theater and the performing arts in general are also blossoming all over Acadiana. And so you can go to Cite des Arts almost every weekend and see an awesome show. Yeah, you were saying back at the time when you were directing the, the, the whole organization, you were doing well over 20 a year. 20 a year, and that's a lot of volunteers, and that's a lot of amazing shows. Um, musicals, kids' musicals in the summer, um, there's summer camps, and uh, I have colleagues teaching all kinds of classes. But the, the musicals and the, the actual theater that's happening is remarkable. Mm -hmm. And so it'd be great if people started to really find out that they don't have to go to a big city to see a great play. They can just go downtown. Right. And what you were saying, too, uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, you have the great talent, the musicians and the artists, but you also do need the volunteers because there's a lot of the behind the scenes work that has to be done in a production. There is. Um, there's a bunch that goes into it. I think one year I counted up to 600 volunteers in one year going through the doors at Cite des Arts. Wow. Wow. Um, well, this is going to be getting started September 14th. This is going to be the 14th, 15th, and 16th. 7.30 on the 14th and the 15th. Yes. And then you have a matinee on the 16th. Where can you get tickets? Uh, that would be the website, which is citedesar.org. And if they wanted more information about upcoming productions or perhaps to volunteer, do you have a phone number? Uh, yeah, the phone number is 337-291-1122. And there's also a Facebook page. Okay. And it's spelled C-I-T-E-D-E-S-A-R-T-S. -E -E That's City of Arts in French. Got it. And we will hyperlink that on KTC.com so everybody could just do a real quick point and click. That's Sue, wonderful. Christy, thank you both for coming in this morning. Good luck on the production coming up so in a few weeks. It's 525 right now. We're <laughs> going to send it over to meteorologist Eric Zernick. He's got to look at our third.